In this tutorial, we'll look at building a complex geometry using different modifiers, starting with a plane, and then also um, how to clean the seam of a symmetry modifier. So we're going to start just very quickly with a plane. I'll make this thing 15 feet by 15 feet. I'm going to turn my grid off by hitting G, and then turn my edged faces on so I can see the subdivision. Um, so we'll start by just adding a bend modifier. Let's make sure we're bending on an axis that actually bends. And then I'll add a quick um, wave modifier. And then let's add a taper and then a symmetry and then let's do the symmetry on the z-axis. So I'm going to open this up and move the symmetry axis. So one thing that's important to note when you're doing these modifiers like the taper for example is to really try different um, transform tools on the gizmo. So if I select the gizmo of the taper I can move this and it will really change how it's affecting the geometry. I can move it, I can even rotate it, um, which doesn't always do something, but you can scale it. And so you can really just see what the effect is in real time on the geometry. Make sure remember that you have this selected, otherwise it won't show all of the modifiers effect on the object. So maybe now that I'm here, I'll add another um, twist modifier. And then here again, you can open it up, use the gizmo, start to move this gizmo around, maybe even off to the side a little bit. And then you can even rotate it and really see how it, how it affects the geometry. Let's add one more symmetry modifier. And then even with the symmetry modifier, right now I'm, I'm just changing the mirror but you can actually begin to rotate that mirror as well and it'll have quite a different effect on the geometry. So let me move that again. Okay, so now I have this form here. Um, the one issue, if I add a turbo smooth now or a mesh smooth to this geometry, um, it looks pretty good. If I hide the edged faces, um, this one's pretty good, but you can sort of start seeing where the seam is kind of messy. So what you can do there is before you add the turbo smooth, I'm going to right click and delete that. You can add an edit poly, open up the poly edit poly object to the polygon, and then this is where the seam is becoming a problem. So what you can do is delete all of the polygons along that seam. You know, and I could do this for the whole geometry. I'll just do it for right here for now. Um, and then if you are still in the polygon sub object mode, if you pan down on your modifier stack, there's an option for create. So I'm going to just keep going right here, create. And you'll see it'll then bring up the vertices of the object. So what you can do is create new cleaner polygons um, to fill those voids of the geometries that you just deleted. And if I hover over this, you can see I don't need my snaps. You can turn on your snaps, but you don't need them. If you hover over the point, it'll change. The cursor will change, and that means you're over the point. So you can just click. And remember, when you're doing this, you want to build either four-sided or three-sided quads. So I'll build that one. And then I'll build this one. And then the other thing you need to make sure, I'll deselect that when I'm done, is notice the color is kind of, um, if I select all these, it's all kind of the same color. Sometimes what happens is you'll end up with a, a, um, a polygon that is facing the wrong direction. So you only want to create polygons between faces that are facing the same direction. So you'll notice if I hit this um, flip command here that that's a different color than that. It's a little brighter. And you want to make sure these are all the same. So you can select everything and then whatever's you know not correct, you can select it and hit flip so you know they're all in the same direction. That'll ensure that they smooth correctly too. So now if I turbo smooth this, you can see that the smoothing is much cleaner now. 
if I turn off my edge faces. So I don't get that weird problem I was having before. So whenever you use a symmetry modifier, it's a good idea to clean the seam using the edit poly and the create before you continue with other operations.